Next up, Theta Network welcome, welcomes Web Comedy Fail Army to its next premium content partner. So again, uh, an article I just kind of glanced over, didn't really think it was a big deal until I got into it. So Theta Network is excited to welcome Web Comedy Fail Army as its premium content partner to Theta.tv global streaming platform, exclamation point. Fail Army counts more than 60 million fans across YouTube and social media. Now will be available 24-7 on Theta.tv. I think this would be a bigger story if Fail Army just said, we're going to exclusively be on Theta uh, Network or Theta TV, just like how Joe Rogan said, I'm going to uh, exclusively uh, be on Spotify. Uh, but that's not what's going on, but they're just adding to it. I think it's a pretty good addition, so not too bad. Fail Army receives more than 1 billion video views per month across digital platforms. And I got to tell you, uh, I think this would be a little bit of a hit to YouTube because if YouTube is like, well, you know, I got uh, Fail Army over here and they're going to, you know, split their views because not, not no one wants to watch two videos of the same thing in the same day or same week. Uh, so if Theta TV is doing that, that's loss of views. Joe Rogan, same type of thing. And all the other different influencers that are getting off of the YouTube platform going someplace else, what kind of dent is that going to do in the business of YouTube? Something to think about. Then it states here, with many of us still stuck at home this summer, users can stay safe and enjoy great new content from Fail Army on Theta TV and earn some T fuel at the same time. Because if you don't know, uh, as you get as you watch things, you actually are rewarded in T fuel. What a great thing! I think we should probably start migrating to that. Uh, that platform. Fail Army joins Theta.tv as it continues to enrich its content offering beyond esports into genres, including classic movies from MGM, live poker or the World Poker Tour, breathtaking live events like NASA and the first SpaceX manned launch on May 27th, and live stream virtual conferences such as Consensus by Coindesk, Crypto Asia Summit, and Virtual Blockchain Week, with more to come down the road. And I gotta tell you, that's not a pretty bad prospect. So let's see what esports is actually doing and why it's so big. So if you don't know, esports is a little bit of a tiny little company that uh, has been around and is going to hit massive growth. So this is a little chart broken down between esports enthusiasts and the occasional viewers. So the light bluish, green, blue, greenish is the occasional viewers and then plus the esports enthusiasts. And that's what makes it all up. So uh, if you're looking at 2016, uh, 121 million, 160 million total. 2017, 143 million, 192, and so on and so forth. To 2021, they are projecting 250 million esports enthusiasts and the occasional viewer, such as myself, which will be 307 million people. So that's a uh, pretty big growth, and it is the fastest growing sport in the world. Let me say that again. It is the fastest growing sport in the world. And when you have things like pandemics hitting everywhere and people can't get out and play sports, what are they going to do? Well, esports is probably going to grow even faster. Just my thoughts. But the real question is, what's Theta anyhow? Let's take a look at that. So this is from thetatoken.org. This little, little video is about a minute long. This is what Theta is all about. Technology today is amazing. But somehow streaming quality and load times are still terrible. Everyone has a computer with extra bandwidth to spare, especially when a machine's not being used. And now you can make money by putting that bandwidth to use thanks to Theta Token. Here's how it works. When you're watching your favorite streamer or when you're asleep, Theta Client will tap into your extra bandwidth to relay video streams to local viewers. They'll enjoy improved stream quality and loading times while you earn Theta Tokens. The more you deliver, the more you earn. With your tokens, you can send donations to your favorite streamers, unlock premium content, and buy and gift virtual items. Theta is a new blockchain and built by Sliver TV, a leading esports live streaming startup based in Silicon Valley that has raised more than $17 million in venture financing, has over 2 million users, and is growing quickly. Theta completed a $20 million private token sale in early 2018 and launched its live testnet in June 2018. Three weeks after launch, over 300,000 users from 149 different countries have shared video on the Theta testnet. Over 40% bandwidth offloaded, improved quality and reach. Okay, and then the rest of it is bragging. So 
I mean, to me, it only makes sense, right? If you're not using something, you might as well get paid for it. And that's what I always talk about as far as like what I call the share economy. The share economy is pretty big now, but I think it's gonna be massively huge uh, as time goes on. If you, and you can even see it, uh, Airbnb, even though Airbnb has taken a big hit lately because of the coronavirus, I'm pretty sure it'll, it'll, it'll roar back and be exactly what it was. And it's probably gonna IPO this year or maybe even next year, who knows? But yeah, I mean, you have Airbnb, you know, you, you have your home, your apartment, or whatever else you can, sh you can uh, rent it all out and it's actually what we do uh, with uh, our home in Houston and it works out fantastic then also you have uh, that uh, Toro not eToro but Toro it's where you can rent out your car you got Uber I mean if you want to you know drive around you know you're not really using your car so Uber and then uh, even like with Elon Musk and uh, Tesla some of their new cars that they're talking about when they actually become autonomous are going to be uh, these autonomous taxis. So that's why the price is actually going to go up later on because you're going to be able to put your car out when you're not driving it. And it sends it's autonomous and go pick up people and drop them off and you can get earn, earn money for that. That's amazing. That's crazy. But that is the uh, share economy. And that's, that's the, the thing they're talking about here with Theta. If you're not using your bandwidth, why not sell it off and get uh, T fuel for whatever else? And you can use it for all the things they talked about in the video. So I think it's going to be huge, but it's not just that, but it's also like the people behind it, which the big one is uh, Steve Chen, co-founder of YouTube, and he's uh, a part of this project. So uh, if he's even saying this, like, hey, this is going to be, you know, pretty much enormous. Uh, time to take notice. And I was just taking a look at, uh, you know, the Theta. It's called Theta.TV. And you can go there and just see a bunch of different uh, people streaming. I mean, if you like games and all the things they talked about, MGM and uh, the Spacewalk and SpaceX and stuff like that. And you can just sign up pretty easily. Um, Facebook, Twitch, or email, whatever else. I probably will because... <laughs> Because I like to watch some of this stuff. But uh, it's pretty interesting. I think it's not at least a, a competitor to, to Twitch. And we'll see how it all goes. But uh, this is one. No, this is the other one. Um, I'm not invested in this now, but I will be. I'm going to uh, invest a little bit into Theta. And you have to understand, like, like my investments... I kind of see them as like firecrackers on a chain. Uh, the first firecracker to go off are the ones that I think could really hit uh, first of all. And that would be something like Bitcoin because everybody talks about it and whatever else. The other ones down the line are things like, you know, Cardano and uh, VeChain potentially and uh, maybe even EOS. Who knows? I don't know. And, you know, Theta uh, could be one of those ones that are like a late bloomer later on. But I can see... The functionality of it i can see you know the different partnerships they have i can see the people behind it so it makes sense to me probably so all right let's move on to last section